Right, you ready for uh, the June roundup? No, it's been a busy month. <laughs> you well, I'm mate. <laughs> it's been busy for me. It's been busy for all on us. You've just been taking it easy. Yeah, easy. Right then. Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. John here on another day in Lincolnshire for another episode of Pistons the Podcast. This podcast being a June roundup because the last podcast was about three or four weeks ago where we've been discussing things that have been coming up. And if you are new to the podcast, there's quite a few for you to catch up on. Uh, how are you? Well, now I've sat down, I shall start nodding off now. Yeah, it has been a busy month. And the point of this one is to do a bit of a, I don't know, June recap. We are filming this on the 1st of July, and it's going to, I don't know, come out in the first week of July. I would suggest that June was probably the busiest month we've had so far. Not only on the channel with subscribers, because by the way, 6,000 subscribers now. We've tipped over the 6,000 subscriber mark, so if you are a subscriber, thank you very much. But also, top earning month on the channel Not ever. very good for me, pal. <laughs> We've earned, and I'm here to be open and honest, over £200 last month, which has paid for some projects, and also top uh, views, smashing the views. Yeah. So thank you very much. Um, so what, what, ad what adverts do we keep getting on before and now? How do you mean? Well, I suppose the adverts are chosen from the for the video. Aren't they? Well, they're tailor-made. Oh, they? So if you uh, fit the demographic of, I don't know, fishermen in your 70s, they'll probably show you adverts related to fishing in your 70s. So Do you know, I went on my bike Saturday morning and I rode around my favourite fishing haunts. Do you know there's nobody fishing? Is there not? Nobody fishing. The bar get drained, not a soul on it. Well, me and Mrs John Coopman went for a walk up to the North Sea the other day. Mm. to take the inspector, and there were some people fishing in the sea. Ah, oh, you were telling me about them. From yeah. the pumping station, which yeah. is unusual. Anyway, what I wanted to do in this video is just go through with you uh, all the jobs and everything we did in June 2024, uh, on the channel and off the channel, and stuff that we've got coming up. Mm. Happy with that? Good. We'll start at the beginning then. So... The beginning of June saw us getting the Audi A4 B5 ready for uh, MOT. It'd been off the road for a couple of years, but yeah, it'd oh. been MOT'd last year. Uh, what did we need to do to that? We needed a new suspension arm, yep, which we had in stock, winner winner, and we put a new CV boot on that yeah. as well. Ease the brakes off and just, just checked it over. Check it over. Um, it was an MOT pass. The MOT video is coming to the channel. and We've got that much stuff that we've done. It's sort of crept into July that we're going to be releasing the video. But it passed an MOT, and that video is coming soon. We've still got some work to do on the A4, though, haven't we? Yeah, we've got to mend the window. That you side. broke? No. Mm. Are keeping you awake? Yes, mate. I tell you, if I sit down, <laughs> I'll go to sleep. I mean, flat out, mate. We've got the window to clean, to, not to clean, to fix. Yep. Um, and side strings to put on it. Yeah, so I bought some new, what do you class them as? Rumble rubbing strips, strips. Rubbing strips down the side of the bottom of the door, which, if you know the Audi A4 B5, we've said it is a design flaw, in our opinion. Well, yeah, they're all right. Water all gets right behind it. And, and they just rot out. They just rot out because they're like metal clips, metal strips with plastic over. Bought a new set of those, they cost us 70 quid, and we're going to replace the whole lot, aren't we? But it's one of them things that we'll just do it when we get round to it. Talking about costing us lots of money for Audi A4s. Oh, well, you didn't need them. <laughs> I'll show you these that I managed to find on the internet. These are a set of brand new OEM stock wheel trims. Have you checked them to see if they're all right? Well, they look quite big in comparison to the other ones on the car. I haven't checked them against yeah, the car. I should take a moment and check them. But um, they are the same part number. Oh, well then. Are they okay inside the packets? Yeah, they look it. They're all individually wrapped. This little Hermes lady brought me them. I was expecting something else. Well, they're in a box. They're in a box. Mm. But they're all individually wrapped. Go on, guess how much they cost me. 
120 pounds. You're not far off. If you didn't watch those videos, I recently, well, I say recently, what, 10 years ago, bought a set of these for the A4 from Audi and they cost me 80 pounds. I then went back to Audi recently and said, I'd like Don't put some, them like that, they'll fall on the floor some more. Damage. That's true, yeah, I'd be upset. I said, I'd like some more from Audi and they quoted me 90 pounds each plus VAT. There's a set of four there, which now I am genuinely questioning because they do seem quite big. Are they all right inside the packet? Aren't yeah, they? yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the, the, the new old stock, they're all so brand they, might, new. they might be a bit scratched, might they? Uh, guess how much? 150 quid. 137.99. You got more money than cents. Well, they've cost 30 odd quid each. And well, they've that's been, not so bad then when you look at it like that. Well, they've been paid for by the good people of YouTube as oh, well. well. So uh, this month's revenue uh, has is going towards the wheel trims. Um, I'm not going to put them on the car though. I see. I'm going to wait until we turn the car into a show car and it gets to classic status and then when we need to they'll go on the car. So they oh. are to keep in stock. That's it for the Audi A4 B5. Then we got into the garage and out from the collection the Museum Micra. Ah. Which you hadn't seen. No. And you did see, I did. and I think to quote you, in it lovely, isn't it really, really, really lovely? It is lovely, isn't it? <laughs> it's lovely. Uh, the museum lovely. micro came, and we did some work on that. Wouldn't getting dare it take it to the gym. Concourse ready? No, absolutely not. Um, that passed its MOT. Yeah, I'm going to run this. We, we'll talk about that <laughs> in a minute when we get to what's in the workshop. Um, but that passed its MOT, and it's now garaged. So it has been sat outside, a lot it's of people... Gone in, it's gone in with the uh, MR2, hasn't it? Yes. A lot of people shouting at me, John, you need to get that off the grass, absolutely, and you need to keep it under cover. It is one that you need to look after. So it has now a garage space. It needs a good old clean and polish, but I have popped it in the garage for now. Stuff that we need to Talk do Talk about that. getting off the grass. I'm not even allowed to have a roll up now. <laughs> no, we got in trouble for you having a cigarette in our well, last video. It's not video. grass, it's just... <laughs> just Old, tobacco. It's just golden Virginia. We, you got in trouble uh, by YouTube for having that, having a cigarette on. So we've, uh, you've had to censor yourself. I've been censored. <laughs> Cancel culture. I've been cancelled. We need the cash bait. We need the money from it. We I've can't afford to, We can't afford to not lose our to lose our revenue. Anyway, um, what do we need to do with the museum micro? What we got left to do? Sp um, yeah. Psh, psh, yeah. Psh, psh, psh. Squirt it. Yes, protect it underneath. We looked at lots of different things. We looked at uh, Alpha Flan, or Alpha Plan, Bulldog BDX stuff. Uh, we looked at Lanagard. We looked at Tetra Seal. We looked at Wax Oil. We have come to the conclusion and been recommended Built Hamber. We want something that doesn't cover up what's under there, don't you? So we're going to buy some Built Hamber. Good. Uh, I'm going to need about six or seven tins of it, which is about 100 quid. Ooh. And we'll get that done. But at the moment, it's so a don't load of black stuff going all over it, does it? No, which is all the wax oil stuff. I suppose we can spray wax oil in the sills and stuff, can't we? And the tetra seal inside the shell, but underneath the wheel arches and stuff. Just need something that doesn't detract from the yeah finish of the. So that'll be a job that's components. coming as well. Oh, and then moving on. Unless you want to say anything else about the museum micro. No, isn't it lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Then moving on, we did probably one of the most horrible jobs that we did this June. In fact, the most horrible job that we've ever done on the Smart Orange Smart, which was that tailgate. I'm not getting involved. You thought it would be easy. Have you repressed? Is it a repressed memory? Have you forgotten we'd done that? Um, we replaced the tailgate pins. That's the life of a professional mechanic, mate. Every day is shite, but some days are just shiter than the others. <laughs> Uh, would you want to do another tailgate hinge yeah, replacement yeah, do it, on, a, yeah. on a smart 451? We do know how to do it. The video's on the channel. Uh, I thought it was going to be easy. You thought it was going to See, be you're, difficult. You're a receptionist or service manager. I'm at the, I'm at the sharp the coal face. I'm here to keep everybody happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're just like a receptionist. <laughs> oh, it'll be easy, that will. Yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't yeah. easy, and actually I wasted me 20 quid buying that kit, didn't you I? You did, really. I'm not allowed to have a cough sweet. No, because we'll hear you booming. I'm not allowed to have a cough sweet. No. 
Can't just suck it. <laughs> you can, but on the other, you're in trouble with me on the other video because you'd got some chewing gum in and you was ASMR chewing. If I crunch this, it'll give us a loud, will it? I'm only sucking it gently. <laughs> <laughs> then what did we do? Well, I brought some new cars to the channel. Uh, we uh, reviewed, courtesy of the team at Drayton Motors in Boston, um, the brand new Suzuki Swift. That was a nice little car. That which you thought was good. A video coming soon to the channel, which sees you and Mum review it. Mum's debut on the channel. Oh, crikey. Um, I thought it was brilliant. Mrs. Mm. John Cooper thought it was brilliant. Um, that was the brand new Suzuki Swift. And I think a lot of people uh, are a little bit upset that it's lost the previous engine. So it's got now the 1.2 um, three-cylinder engine with the hybrid mm. capability. Um, and I think a lot of people are saying, well, it's lost a bit of poke. It's more economic, but it has lost a bit of poke. And also, no plans for a but, Suzuki Swift Sport in this model. And that's what's got people upset. Yeah, but it's got to get its Euro ratings. What is it, Euro 6 I think or something? it's Euro 6, yeah. 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 Anyway, I thought that the uh, Suzuki Swift new one was good. The video is on the channel if you want to have a take a look at that. And then I got to drive a KGM Tivoli, mm. which wasn't as nice as the Suzuki Swift. Brand new car, previously a Sangyong. Uh, the it's video. A lot of car for your money, though. Yeah, it is. It is. What is compared it? Twenty a, grand. Yeah. Got compared to a Cougar or a Qashqai or. Yeah. The video hasn't done overly well. I don't think people are too bothered about the KGM. Well, it all really. started with me and you seeing a KGM. Yeah, in the, we, we in saw the, it in the car park, the, didn't we? What's one of them? And we went, what's one of them? Yeah. As you say, yeah. And then uh, I've the, seen one or two about since. I saw one yesterday. Mm. So they are becoming more and more prevalent. And actually, locally, we've had a main dealer for about six months now. Mm, I've, seen, I've seen one or two now. I'm not going to sit here and slag it off. But it's not for me. It wasn't for me. It is what it is, isn't it? But I've heard this conversation before. There aren't any rubbish cars anymore. Nissan Pixo. Excuse me. <laughs> no, you're right. There aren't any. It's a Suzuki Alto. Yeah. But no. you're right. Previously, I don't know, 20 years ago, we'd have probably been laughing at Skoda, wouldn't we? And, and that sort of thing. Mechanic won't be very impressed if you say that. But now look at Skoda's. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they're, they're quality, aren't they? They are up there with your Audis you and your know, BMWs and... If you want a Volkswagen, but don't want us paying Volkswagen money, you get just as good a car. Yeah. So, anyway, we had a couple of new um, car reviews, and I hope you enjoyed those. Let I me know in the comments. these Skoda Estates, and I reckon that's what I ought to do. Get what, one of them. Skoda Estates? Well, like a Skoda Superb or something like that. I've seen one or two about the taxi men have got them. Yeah, my, uh, my boss drives a Skoda Superb and he thinks it's brilliant. Yeah. It's got a lot of poke. Um, and then it brings us on nicely to da, 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 what's in the workshop. <laughs> this was mentioned as your crazy idea in the previous yeah. Pistons the Podcast. We are going to Rustaval 2, which has been announced for September this year. Yeah, I didn't realise it's as late as that. I thought it was August. And you said to me... Let's get the Nissan Micra K11 Flame Red out the garage, which is my first car. It is my very first car. We got it out the garage where it had been sat for, what, 10 years? So you said, Gromit. And we are now working on mm. the K11. It's been problematic. Mm. Um, there will be videos coming to the channel in the next couple of weeks. Mm. Will we make it to Rustaval? It is, at the moment, up in the air. Um, we've found some quite significant rust, haven't we? Mm. And you don't necessarily want to start welding and fixing and I've doing I've got better panels. things to do than do that. Better things than prepare for elephants, Gromit. It is looking like, and this is going to upset a few people, the K11 Micra project is probably going to be put onto hiatus, probably for the long term. Mm. Um, we found some severe rot. Not only is there rot underneath, but also in the wheel arches at the back here and at the front. Mm. It's almost game over for the Micra, isn't it? Probably. Mm. So it's in the workshop. 
It's looking good. It's time, isn't it? It's, you don't want to do... It's gonna, how long is it going to take you to... We've got other stuff to be doing. I've got your mum to entertain. She takes a lot of entertaining. I've got other stuff to do. And I've got a life to have. Yeah. So it might be that the K11 Micra goes back... And apart from that... ...in the garage. That's it. I've finished now. I'm off for riding my bike. Oh, yeah. See you later. Yep. Um, I'm not going to scrap it. Not yet. Um, I did have... Well, um, I think it wants a big steel plate welding on the side. <laughs> <laughs> the wind is taking it out. Yes, I know. Yeah, yeah. I Roll know. cage putting in it. But doesn't it look good and sat in, here? And put in... Uh, it could, the name could be at John Coupland. Yeah, this is the shiny end. <laughs> we need. I, I'm going to have to do some soul searching when it comes to the Micra. It is my first car, and once it's gone, I'll never get it back. But also, it's not fair for me to say to you, can you spend 20 hours welding, filling, I bet painting? you were cross when you scratched that back bumper, weren't you? Well, that's a new bumper. Mm, but you scratched it and touched it up there. Mm, well, I didn't know it was there until you pointed it out to me. <laughs> I don't think that scratch on that back bumper is the least is the my main concern with this car. Well, when right I now. cleaned that back bumper, I looked at that. I thought, I bet you was cross <laughs> when you did that. <laughs> I probably can't remember doing it. Anyway, but you've touched her up. So anyway, the K11 Micro project probably will be put onto hiatus. I'm going to put it back in the garage. We've got to move on because we've got lots to talk mm. about. So also uh, brought home the two barn find protons. <laughs> yeah. Um, they are cars that I bought, what, last year? You did. Mrs. John Cooton thought I'd forgotten about them. You'd thought I'd forgotten about them. Everybody thought I'd forgotten about them. But I hadn't. I knew that they were there. And the team at JW Recovery went with me a couple of weeks ago now and uh, pulled them out of the barn. The videos, by the way, on the channel, which are three on there at the moment, are doing really well. And I think the great people of Malaysia have picked up on the uh, on the fact that we've get uh, excited. We've got the videos there, and they are enjoying it. So hi, if you're watching from Malaysia um, and are new to the channel. What's the plan with those barn find cars? Well, we've done three videos, as I say, one of me picking them up, one of me getting them sort of looked at, and then another of me cleaning the really dirty one. The sad reality is it's scrap, isn't it? We've had a good look, it's posh, rotten. It's very, 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 very rotten. We could put an engine in it, but it would still be no good. It is destined for the racetrack. So uh, the Banger Boys are going to stick an engine in it. Sounds to me like they have Ford engines in them. Yeah, they do. Put Pinto engines in. <laughs> They're going to give it a good send-off. Uh, coming soon, Ben. Things that are coming soon. I have test-driven last week the brand-new Peugeot E3008 as part of the new car. I thought it was a Hummer. Test drive. It was big, wasn't it? It was a big old thing. Um, it's got your seal of approval. You liked it? What does Mrs. John Copeland think to it? She's used to bangers. So, <laughs> so any new car is going to be good to her, isn't it? She liked it. We went for an evening up to Skegness. Did you price tyre up for it? I didn't, but it's going to be oh, three or four hundred quid. You'd buy a good car for that, couldn't you? <laughs> I could buy two Protons for that. Buy a good car for a price of a tyre. There are two videos coming then. One, which is a review video that I've done, review and test drive. Uh, which is about half an hour long, and another video which sees Mrs. John Coupland in the Peugeot for the very first time. Aside from her Proton Bentley video, she's not really appeared in any of the videos, and so she um, has taken the Peugeot for a spin with me, and we did a real-world range test. I won't spoil it, but I'm pleasantly surprised. It's a quality thing, though, isn't it? Oh, it's built well. Yeah. But would you spend 52 grand on a Proton? Uh, not on a Proton. Not on a Proton. Would you spend 52 grand on a Peugeot? Well, if I'd got that sort of money, yeah. There you go. Anyway, that is coming to the channel. And People I know don't buy cars, though, do they? No, you put it on higher or yeah, PCP. Or PCP. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, it's going to be divisive. I understand that. There's going to be some people who are going to be, oh, you've mentioned an EV, I'll switch off now. There are going to be some people who are really interested in it. And um, the motivation behind it is just to bring new and interesting content to the channel. Um, it's not me bringing an advert. I don't get paid for it. Um, but I went on the Renault Fluence course and no, there ain't no Renault Fluences left in the universe now. And it was a good car. 
Is that the EV one? Yeah. I saw one the other day. Did you? Renault Fluence. Hmm. I followed it to work. That's a long, long time ago when I went on that course. Yeah. We did a Twizzy at the same time. Oh, the Renault Twizzy. Uh, Mr. Wilding's got one of them. Mm. <laughs> um, so more stuff to come includes that E3008 content. Uh, what else is coming? Well, we filmed some videos with the Micra before we've given up on it and we have got them coming and there'll be a general micro update coming soon as well showing you the rust isn't it lovely isn't it lovely uh oh i'll tell you one thing i did uh do this week that you don't really know about is i went to look at a proton compact later called the Satria GTI mm. for sale um, it's been in a storage yard in Peterborough for the past five years it's been off the road for ten years uh, it's posh rotten and half of it's missing was that a, a bit like a Subaru uh, no it's a hot hatch so it's a bit oh. like the Saxo GTI or the Peugeot oh, right. GTI um, really rare cars, and actually, if you can find a good Not one, as big as a Mitsubishi Evo. No, 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 no. But people use the engines in the Evos and make jumbo Evos and all that sort of stuff. It's a 1.8 litre turbocharged engine. Right. Fast, rapid. So they put that in an ordinary Mitsubishi and turn it into an Evo Mitsubishi. Well, you know the Proton Compact, the three door thing came with the 1.3 engine and the 1.5 the same engine that's in the sagas they actually put 1.8 engine in that and uh, beefed it up a bit excellent blooming fast things and quite rare um i went to look at it i made an offer on it my offer wasn't accepted so i've brokered the sale for it for her and uh it's being picked up and said so it's going to a loving new home but what was the point in me buying it are they going to restore it no they're going to for spares yes they? and the point of it was if I could have bought it for what I was going to buy it for, and it'd be good, it would have been a bargain, and it would have been good content, but I'm just buying a scrap car for the sake of buying a scrap mm. car, paying a couple of hundred quid to get it here and do some videos and take some parts off it. Really? It would have made sense if I owned a Proton Satria GTI and wanted the parts off it, but I don't. So let someone else enjoy it. Let someone else do it. We've got Makes lots sense. more things to do. So. Looked at a GTI, didn't buy a GTI. Some people will be shouting at me, why didn't you buy it? Some people will be shouting at me saying, you did the right thing. Um, I did put a thing out on Twitter as well saying, hey, am I being silly? And actually the consensus was, you got enough on and you've got enough on as well. But yeah, I'm sure we'll find one one day. Proton Satria GTI. Mm. Anyway, things that we have to do, I need to tell you about this when I say we. <laughs> um, it's the Festival of the Unexceptional coming up this month end of this month and of course we have been invited back with the black knight uh they also want the white proton as well so we've got gonna hopefully have a couple Ooh. of protons at the festival of the unexceptional however we've got work to do on the black knight this year yes with some parts to fit yeah better make sure them's the right bits as well it needs a steering rack gator doesn't it yeah, they probably need two if you look at it yeah probably uh, have you got two I have got two. In fact, I've got a couple of sets in stock. So we'll be fitting a steering rack gator to the Black Knight and giving it an MOT once over. That isn't exactly the hardest job in the world, is it? Um, famous last words. I'll tell you what the hardest job will be. Getting it out of the garage. Because no. <laughs> it's wedged in That's between... That's not a me problem. The pal. Armstrong, Sidley and Jeff at the moment. We probably should get Jeff out of the garage and recommissioned as well, but let's leave Jeff sleeping mm. for another year. Um, Sell Jeff so somebody else can have a proton. No, Jeff is not going anywhere. He's staying... I should put him in a container and send him to Malaysia. Malaysia wants him, they can't have him. Yes, they can have him. Um, for share the wealth. Let's not talk about getting rid of Jeff because you're uh, upsetting me now. Uh, the Purple Smart, by the way, we've given it lots of attention and now it is going to get some attention this week. I can't tell you too much about it yet. But there's some exciting smart car content coming to the channel and other people are going to hopefully be appreciating uh, the Purple Smart this week. I'm going well, let's hope the bugger don't blow up while they've got it then. <laughs> well, if they do, it's very well insured. <laughs> so, so yeah, the Purple Smart is going somewhere special this week. 
and you may see the Parapol Smart appear somewhere quite special in the near future. When I can tell you, I certainly will. Is it going to a garden party? I can't Buckingham tell you where the Is it going to a garden party I've at Buckingham Palace? I've signed an NDA. the king wanting to see it? I can tell you one thing for free. It's not going in the RAC Rotunda on Pall Mall. Oh, the king wants to see it. The but this could, couldn't it? it? The king wants to drive it. <laughs> I'm also going to see my friend Damien tomorrow. Uh, he's letting me try his pretty special super duper racing rig simulator thing. I've when got are to we take putting a new, new roof on your gazebo? Oh, that's next year. We've got lots to do. Next year, new roof on the gazebo, hard standing, it new, needs doing new before workshop. The winter again. We ain't got time. We ain't got time, have we? Make time. Take a week's holiday. Mate, it's, ju it's June now. It's July now. We've got festival and all these oh, things to yeah. do. Yeah, we've got, I'm on holiday, mm. you're on holiday. Oh yeah. <laughs> we've got Rustival, we've got all sorts of stuff. If I'm not careful, I'll burn you out. And I need- Talking to a man this morning, his wife was going on holiday and her husband is in a fairly highfalutin job and his partner is poorly, so he couldn't go on holiday. So they didn't go on holiday. Right. They was going to Barbados when this thing was here. So that's a stroke, a look, isn't it? When what thing was it? Well, it's been in storm. Oh, I see. So he was meant to go to yeah, Barbados. Caribbean. They cancelled. Because of his And work. now there's been a storm and it's yeah. looking. Oh, that's very lucky then, isn't it? Stroke of look, isn't it? It is a stroke of luck. Could have ended badly, that. Uh, hopefully there's no storms when I'm on holiday. Where are you going to? I'm going to go pay Mickey Mouse a lot of money. Going I'm going to physically take a suitcase full of cash you going to and give it to Mickey Mouse. Is, is this storm's going to Mexico. Oh no, I'm going to Florida. Oh, it's near Mexico. Which is uh, close to Mexico, yeah, and obviously we're going to be going in stormy season, but fingers crossed we'll be okay. But I'll tell you for free, I'm going to have to start about 20 YouTube channels and just work non-stop to pay for Mrs. John Cooten's Mouse holiday. It's not a me problem, pal. <laughs> it's, I'll tell you what, it's a me problem. Well, you shouldn't have done such stupid stuff then. She took her to Bummin' Cromer. Oh, that would have been more expensive, probably, the price of Bummin' Fish and Chips on Cromer Beach. Anyway, I've told... No, that says Cromer, not Bummin' what's it, Southwold. Yeah. Well, Bummin' £9 Fish and Chips. I've you? told Mrs John Cooper I'm going to physically take a suitcase full of cash and hand it to the mouse myself. Um... So yeah, that's that. And we've got the white proton to do Why has it turned out to be expensive? Because you said it was cheap. What? Disney it, World? Yeah. Who said it was cheap? I thought it's already paid for. It's already paid for, but it's still expensive. Oh. I've got a chroma. <laughs> uh, and then we've got the white proton to do. So this month, Black Knight, Festival and Exceptional, Purple Smart, Racing Simulator, White Proton, Nissan Micro. You better crack on then. And Robert. whatever else comes. You better our get way. your socket set out then, mate. <laughs> I bought you some spanners yesterday. What more do you want? <laughs> They're for smart cars. Anything else you want to talk about? Yeah. What? Well, I'm getting an holiday. Well, you can have a holiday if you want a holiday. Well, I'm off now for the next three weeks. There are there's, these are the places I could send you on holiday: Sunderland. No. Malaysia. No, don't want to go there. You could go on a recce to the Proton Museum, couldn't you? I'm not going there unless I take two protons to give them. No, 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 no. You to need the king, to bring, you the need king to, of Malaysia. You need to bring me, a, bring me back a load of... I'll tell you what I would like to do. This is a genuine thing, and I've not really discussed this. The Malaysian Proton Saga scene, they mod them. Yeah. And they put big autoplas louvres all over it and big side skirts. Yeah, I've seen it. I'd quite like to go to Malaysia, buy a load of modding your proton stuff and then pimp a proton pimp and have a white one Mala no well, then have like ain't that good malaysian domestic super duper like radwood malaysia if you're gonna make it left hand drive then no we'd leave it right hand drive oh, right just cosmetically and stick a 1.8 gti engine in it <laughs> Pimp my proton. Yeah. Anyway, anything else you want to add before we finish this no. uh, this podcast? Can't think of anything at all. You need to get some sleep, mate. I need no, to go you... home and get me get me tea. You won't let me get any rest. <laughs>
If you've enjoyed the video, thumbs up, please. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, 46% of people that watch the videos aren't subscribed. And I'm sure with the mass influx of uh, viewers recently, that number is going to have changed dramatically. So if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. It keeps you up to date with what I'm doing. As you hear, there is a lot of stuff coming up. And if you could comment down below, let me know what you think. What have you enjoyed this June? What are you looking forward to in July? And what would you like to see us do next? Just get something finished. Yeah, we've got a lot of stuff on. Just get something finished. Anyone want to buy a micro? Till next time, have a great day. Whatever you're getting up to, goodbye. Thanks for watching this latest episode of Pistons, the podcast. Another one is coming shortly, but if you haven't caught up yet, there's previous episodes on this page now. And don't forget to hit subscribe to always get caught up with the latest podcast.